white blood cells, leukocytes. When an infection or inflammatory condition occurs, the body releases white blood cells to help fight the infection. The leukocyte, commonly known as a white blood cell, or WBC, is a major component of the body's defenses against disease. Leukocytes protect the body against invading microorganisms and body cells with mutated DNA. Leukocytes and erythrocytes both originated from hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow. They are very different from each other in many significant ways. One of the most distinctive characteristics of leukocytes is their movement. Whereas erythrocytes spend their days circulating within the blood vessels, leukocytes routinely leave the bloodstream to perform their defensive functions in the body's tissues. Granular leukocytes contain abundant granules within the cytoplasm. They include neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. While granules are not totally lacking in a granular leukocytes, they are far fewer and less obvious. A granular leukocytes include monocytes and lymphocytes, which arise from the void stem cell line. Neutrophils are repeat responders to the site of infections and efficient phagocytes with preference for bacteria. Their granules include lysosome, an enzyme capable of lysing or breaking down bacterial cell walls. Oxidants such as hydrogen peroxide and defensins, protein, then B2 and punctured bacterial and fungal plasma membranes so that the cell contents leak out. Abnormally high counts of neutrophils indicate infections and or inflammation, particularly triggered by bacteria, but are also found in burned patients and other experiencing unusual stress. Eosinophils typically represent 2 to 4 percent of total leukocyte count. The granules of eosinophils include antihistamine molecules which counteract the activities of histamines, inflammatory chemicals produced by basophils and mast cells, and increase in circulating eosinophils. Eosinophilia is associated with allergic conditions such as asthma and hay fever and with internal parasite infections, for example, worms. Basophils, they are slightly smaller than the neutrophils and eosinophils at 8 to 10 micrometer in diameter. In general, basophils intensify the inflammatory response. The granules of basophils release histamines, which contribute to inflammation, and heparin, which opposes blood clotting. High counts of basophils are associated with allergic parasitic infections and hypothyroidism. 
Low counts are associated with pregnancy, stress, and hyperthyroidism. Granular leukocytes contain smaller, less visible granules in their cytoplasm than do granular leukocytes. Lymphocytes are the second most common type of leukocytes, accounting for about 20-30% to of all leukocytes, and are essential for the immune response. The three major groups of lymphocytes include natural killer cells, B cells, and T cells. Natural killer cells are capable of recognizing cells that do not express self proteins on their plasma membrane or that contain foreign or abnormal markers. These non self cells include cancer cells, cells infected with a virus and other cells with atypical surface proteins. B cells and T cells, also called B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, play prominent role in defending the body against specific pathogens, disease-causing microorganisms, and are involved in specific immunity. One form of B cells, or plasma cells, produces the antibodies or immunoglobulins that bind to specific foreign or abnormal components of plasma membranes. This is also referred to as humoral body fluid immunity. T cells provide cellular level immunity by physically attacking foreign or diseased cells. Abnormally high lymphocytes counts are characteristic of viral infections as well as some types of cancer. Abnormally low lymphocyte count are characteristics of prolonged or chronic illnesses or immunosuppression, including that caused by HIV infection and drug therapies that often involve steroids. Monocytes. There are normally represent 2 to 8 percent of total leukocyte count. Macrophages are monocytes that have left the circulation and uh, phagocytized uh, debris. Again, macrophages are monocytes that have left the circulation and phagocytized debris. Foreign pathogens, worm out erythrocytes, and many other death, worn out or damaged cells, worn out or damaged cells. Microphage also release antimicrobial defenses and chemotoxic chemicals that attract other leukocytes to the site of an infection. Again, macrophages also release antimicrobial defense and chemotoxic chemicals that attract other leukocytes to the site of an infection. Abnormally high counts of monocytes are associated with viral or fugal infection, tuberculosis, tuberculosis, tuberculosis and some form of leukemia and other chronic diseases. Abnormally low counts are typically caused by suppression of the bone marrow. Production of all leukocytes begins in the bone marrow under the influence of colony stimulating factors and interleukins. Secondary production and maturation of lymphocytes 
occurs in specific region on lymphatic tissue known as germinal centers. Lymphocytes are fully capable of mitosis and may produce clones of cell with identical properties. disorders of leukocytes. Leukopenia is the condition in which too few leukocytes are produced. If this condition is pronounced, the individual may be unable to ward off disease. Excessive leukocyte proliferation is known as leukocytosis. Also, leukocyte counts are high, the cells themselves are often non-functional leaving the individual at increased risk for disease. The leukocyte formula, the ratio of different types of WBCs, expressed as a percentage of the total amount. Thrombocytes or platelets are nucleus-free cytoplasm T-watt-like particles split off from the megakaryocytes and bone marrow. Platelets is not a cell but rather a fragment of cell cytoplasm, a cell called a megakaryocyte, that is surrounded by the plasma membrane. Megakaryocytes are descended from myeloid stem cells and are large, typically 50 to 100 micrometer in diameter, and contain enlarged lobes nucleus. Each megakaryocyte released 2,000 or 3,000 platelets during its lifespan. Following platelet release, megakaryocytes remains, which are little more than a cell nucleus, are consumed by macrophages. Platelets are critical to hemostasis, the stoppage of blood flow following damage to a vessel. They also secrete a variety of growth factors essential for growth and repair of tissue, particularly connective tissue. Infusions of concentrated platelets are now being used in some therapies to stimulate healing, and the thin and damaged leads about deliberate factor to immediate adhesion of thrombocytes to expose collagen, which requires, among other factors, glycoprotein 1B on the thrombocyte surface. Adhesion activates the thrombocytes. It causes the aggregation aided by thrombin, changes their form and releases vasoconstrict type. Thromboxan A2 and aggregation promoting substances fibrinogen, bilibrin factor, and fibrinectin on bilibrin factor and fibrinogen. In addition, thromboxan A2 together with the ADP adenosine 5D phosphate 
that has also been released at the inflammation mediated PAF enhanced thrombocyte activation. When aggregation thrombocytes contact and greatly change their shape, formation of microvilli, during which the glycoproteins 2D, 3A, among others, are exposed on the platelet surface. This serves the adhesion and fibrinectin, the subendothelium matrix, as well as fibrinogen that link the platelet together in a net like structure. Physiological properties of platelets Adhesion, aggregation, and agglutination Adhesion, ability to stick to the foreign and damaged surface Aggregation, ability to form a clump And agglutination, binding platelets to each other The blood clotting includes three phases. First one, three phase or hemostasis. Second one, three phases of coagulation. Formation from thrombinase, thrombin formation, and fibrin formation. And third one, post phase. Retraction of clot and fibrinolysis or dissolution of a clot. Hemostasis or microcirculation hemostasis provides controlled bleeding in vessels with low pressure and speed. Hemostasis and its disorders. The hemostasis system protects the organism against bleeding and blood clots. It involves plasma factors, thrombocytes or platelets in the vessel wall. 
their interaction locally guarantees the sealing of leaks in the vessel when platelets temporarily glue together, forming white thrombus. And subsequently, the plasma coagulation system forms a firm fibrin tangle or red thrombus, and thus a stable closure in form. However, excessive clot formation thrombi with consequent occlusion of larger blood vessels thrombosis and the migration of thrombi must be avoided. To keep this balance, the hemostatic system, if required, is rapidly activated locally a matter of minutes, but extension of hemostasis is prevented by innovatory factors, in part for a feedback mechanism. The fibrinolysis system is responsible for dissolving excessive fibrin clots. Hemostasis includes five stages. Vascular spasm, releasing of vasoconstrictive substances from platelets, serotonin, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. Adhesion of platelets, change of negative charge of vessels to positive in damaged place. Platelets with negative charge adhere to collagen fibers with positive charge is taken 3 to 10 seconds. Reversible aggregation of platelets. It's form loose platelet plug under influence of internal ADP from vessel wall and internal ADP of platelets and red blood cells. Irreversible aggregation of thrombocytes. Platelet plug becomes impermeable for blood under the influence of thrombin in 5-10 seconds after damage. Platelet factor and ADP are released in blood. Size of platelet plug is increased. Retraction of platelet plug, compression and friction of platelet plug. The coagulation system is made up of numerous factors. Factor 1 – Fibrinogen Factor 2 – Protrombin Factor 3 – Tissue thromboplastin Factor 4 – Calcium ion Factor 7 – to Factor 13 Free Cali Prein PKK Fletcher Factor High molecular minogen HMK and the inhibitory factors antithrombin third, alpha 2 macroglobulin, alpha 1 antitrypsin, protein SK, and protein CK. With excretion of K2 
calcium ion. They are all globular proteins with molecular mass between 54 kilodalton, alpha-1 antitrypsin, and 2000 kilodalton, factor VIII. Vitamin K is essential for the formation of those factors and proteins marker within a K. The vitamin is important in the post-translation alpha-carboxylation of a number of glutamine residue at the nitrogen terminal of peptide chains. These gamma carboglutamyl groups are necessary for calcium ion plus and minus mediated fixing to phospholipids, for example, of the thrombocyte membrane formation of complexes. Coagulation. Most coagulation factors are normally not active. They are activated by a cascade. Usually the particular factor is converted from its inactivate form. To active endopeptides which in turn activate the subsequent factors in the same way. The cascade starts in the environment of the endothelium defect. Negative charge of sub-endothelium collagen and sulfide groups with contact activation of factor 12 to 12A and the genius activation. Factor 12A deactivates PKK to calicrein KK, which enhance factor 12 activation, contact pass with positive feedback for enhancement. Factor 12A activates factor 11 to 11A. The later activation 9 to 9A, until finally fibrin monomers are form from fibrinogen or factor first. This monomer has been bound together covalently by factor 13 transamidase into a fibrin net. If the injury is a large tissue thrombokinase, factor third comes into contact with the blood and activate factor seven, which in a complex with calcium ion and phospholipids in turn activate factor tense, exogenous activation.
Fibrinolysis. The stabilized clot is acted upon by contractile proteins within the platelets. As these proteins contract, they pull on the fibrin threads, bringing the edge of the clot more tightly together, somewhat as we do when tightening loose shoelaces. This process also rinse out of the clot a small amount of fluid called serum which is blood plasma without its clotting factors to restore normal blood flow as the vessels heals the clot must eventually be removed fibrinolysis is a gradual degradation of the clot again there is a fairly complicated series of reaction that involves factor 12 and protein catabolizing enzymes during this process the inactive protein plasminogen is converted into the active plasmin which gradually breaks down the fibrin of the clot additionally bradykinin is a vasodilatator is released reversing the effect of the serotonin and prostaglandins from the platelets. This allows the smooth muscles in the walls of the vessels to relax and helps to restore the circulation. Plasma anticoagulants. An anticoagulant is any substances that oppose coagulation. Several circulating plasma anticoagulants play a role in limiting the coagulation process to the region of injury and restoring a normal, clot-free condition of blood. 
For instance, a cluster of proteins, collectively referred to as a protein C system, inactivates clotting factors involved in the intrinsic pathway. Tissue factor pathway inhibitor inhibits the conversion of the inactive factor 7s to the active form in the extrinsic pathway. Antithrombin inactivate factor 10s and opposes the conversion of prothrombin factor 2s to thrombin in the common pathway. And as noted earlier, basophils release heparin, a short-acting anticoagulant that also opposes prothrombin. Heparin is also found on the surface of cell, limiting the blood vessel. A pharmaceutical form of heparin is often administered therapeutically, for example, in surgical patients at risk for blood clots.